how's it going? Uh, so your uh, chuck is stuck on your drill. Well, um, I just spent about an hour trying to figure out how to do this without taking it apart. And, you know, there's some other videos on YouTube that are good, but they require, like, really knowing what you're doing and a drill press and all this junk. So anyway, this is um, my Hitachi 18-volt drill. I've got a, I had a drill a bit stuck bad in here. I mean, I was grabbing it cranking it as hard as I could. It was burning my skin, and I couldn't get it out. Um, I figured out, I was able to get it out without taking the drill apart and without breaking anything. Uh, first thing is, don't uh, grab this with a wrench and crank it as hard as you can. You're just going to strip all the grip off the plastic, and it's going to be, um, you can probably break it that way, I'm going to imagine. Come a little closer, and I'll show you what I did. First thing is, uh, you're going to need WD-40. The WD-40 is your friend. You want this straw. I put the straw in there, set the um, drill on a table, plenty of paper towels, and uh, soaked it. I soaked it, like the whole thing, let it overflow, soaked it, let it overflow, and I let it sit for a little while. While it was sitting, you're just basically letting WD-40 um, do the work for you. While I was sitting, I would lightly just tap on everything. Not too hard to like bend anything or anything, but just give it some vibration. And the idea was that it would help the uh, um, WD-40 like saturate the area that uh, is stuck. So after I did that for a while, then I set the drill down like this. And I think I kind of gripped it in my knees or something like this. Yeah. And I got my hammer and a flathead screwdriver and gave it a little more WD-40 and then come real close and zoom in on this and then I'll show you what I did. Um, I took the flathead on each prong that was holding the bit and just um, And then I lightly tap with a hammer. Now, I'm not trying to make a divot in the prong. I'm just trying to give it some vibration. And I will tap it hard enough to, um, to really jar it, but not make a dent in the, uh, in the prong. So I did that for a bit. And then I just tapped some more, tapped some more. And I kept tapping and WD-40 and tapping and WD-40. And then uh, guess what? bit fell out. Once the bit falls out, you're, uh, you're good. Um, then what you want to do is soak with WD-40, flush it all out, soak it, flush it, go through this whole long process of getting all that rust and junk and sand or whatever's in there out of there. So I was turning it upside down, flushing it out like this until it was just running really clean. And then I finally... Um, cleaned it up with a paper towel, and it's still kind of leaking WD-40, but it's it's definitely working better now. My mistake was I should have been WD-40 in this once in a while, and I wasn't. I was using it outside, it was getting wet and rusty, and I wasn't keeping it um, lubricated. So lubricate your chuck now before it um, becomes a problem, but there you go.